I'm Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and in this video we're going to look at how to make a pop-up heart card for Valentine's Day that also beats when you slide your finger across. So the template is online, you can download it for free, and it's two pages. One page is just the pop-up part of the page, so it'll tell you where to cut and how to fold. I printed this sort of on a design so that when I have my card it'll have a fun little design on it. The second page of the card is going to be um, the actual circuit diagram of it. So it'll show you how to hook up your circuits and it'll have all the instructions. I like to print this on something a little bit more sturdy, like cardstock, just because it sort of helps um, keep everything in place. The other things you're going to need are some copper tape, an LED, and a battery, and you always want to test and make sure they work. This LED is a fun little flashing, blinking rainbow LED. And then you'll need a little bit of scotch tape to hold everything in place. So this part is pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to fold it, do a cut, and bend it and stuff. So we'll do that after. The first part I'm going to do is the copper tape. And if we look at our template, it shows you where you should be taping. So you've got a big long piece here, a piece that goes here, and it says this side goes over the battery. You have a long piece that goes here and it says this side goes under the battery, so you want to make sure there's a piece there for under the battery. So, and then there's two little pieces here. And in fact, what will happen is when you fold this little bit up, you'll have two pieces of copper tape that when you press on them will make your light light up because it'll connect and you'll have a complete circuit on this one and then also on this one. So as you swipe your finger across, it will flash for you. So let's make this part first and see how it goes. So I'm going to first do the copper tape over all of the yellow. tape except for this one piece that's going to go over the battery because I got to put the battery in first. So I've got my battery. It's going to go with the letters side up so it'll say CR2032 with a plus sign and you want that facing up on you. And then I can put in my tape onto it. I'm going to tape my battery in with just a tiny piece of tape. I don't want to put tape over the top of the battery because then I won't be able to make good contact with my copper tape. So I'm just going to tape sort of along a little tiny piece of it, just enough to sort of keep it where it's at. And then I can take my copper tape and I can do this line that's going to go on top of the battery. All right, so now that I have my battery in and I've got this guy in, we're ready to put the LED in. Now when you look at your LED, there's two legs. There's one leg that's a little bit longer and one leg that's a little bit shorter. So I may need to make sure that I put the long leg in the spot that says long leg. Because LEDs are like slides. You can slide down the LED, the electrons slide down, and they light up as they're having fun. But they are really good rule followers, so they will never go up the slide. So on the diagram it says long leg, which is the leg that's sort of coming down, and short leg, which is the leg that's going over and under the battery. So you want to make sure that your long leg goes on the right piece of tape. So I'm going to bend my legs. I'll have my long leg and my short leg. And I can just put it on there like that, and then I need to tape them in. I like to tape things in with copper tape, just because it gives a little bit extra um, to it. So we're going to tape little pieces of copper tape. Now when I tape it in, I want to make sure I don't tape it across the legs like this because that won't work for my circuit. The electrons will say, I don't need to do any work, I can just go around and take this shortcut. They're really good at finding shortcuts. So they'll take any shortcut they can find. So you want to make sure these legs are not connected when you do it. So when you tape on the legs, you want to tape going along the legs, not across the legs. All right, so now I have it all taped in, and you'll notice again, I want to make sure that I don't put the tape going across like this. 
even if you go like this, like across like that, and it's not touching, it just doesn't give you, you know, it just doesn't work as well in my experience. Um, you do want to make sure also that the copper tape between the long leg and the short leg are not touching. And then we can test it. A quick way to test it is just to take a piece of copper tape and put it across these two strips. So if I've got the two strips on the bottom, when I connect those two strips, it's a complete circuit. So that just tells me that I know that it's working when I put it across. Perfect. So what I can do is I can give it a little more strength, and I'm going to do that by taping regular scotch tape, so not the copper tape, across all of my LED. So that will help keep those legs in place and where they need to be. And then I can also tape in my battery even better. I'm going to tape it this way, I guess. Now you can tape over the top of the battery because you have that copper tape underneath the tape straight onto the battery top. All right, so we have our circuit, and the way that you make it flash is we need to fold along this line right here. So we're going to fold along this line, and we're going to test it before we do anything else. So what we can do is if we just scan our finger across, you see how it beats? That's perfect. So now I can tape this fold down too. Now I don't want to tape it down too hard right here because then your LED will be always on and we don't really want that. But I can tape it down in the other places to keep it nice. And I can make a good crease right here like that. And I can tape, add some tape over the battery. There we go. And this part of the card is done. You can, if you actually want to make it a card, there's a line in the middle where you can fold it like this. You do want to be careful because the LED can be kind of tall. Sometimes when I make these cards, I use um, smaller LEDs. They're called 3 millimeter LEDs. They're a little bit smaller. This is a 5 millimeter. But I like the rainbow, and I don't have rainbow in 3 millimeter. So it works when I press that. And this part is done. And so then we just need to make the other pop-up part. So what you do is you fold it backwards. If you have a print on one side, you're going to fold the print to the inside. And you're going to cut along all of these solid lines. And we'll bend it. Like this. And then when you bend it, you bend it the other way and it'll pop out if you get the bends just right. So the bend on the heart should be opposite the other bends of the paper. takes a little bit of finagling the first time. And then once you get it bent, folded in like this, you just press down those seams really hard. And you have a heart that will pop up when it closes. So then we can put it on this. And of course it's a little bit too long, right? So what we'll do is we'll cut off. There's a border on it for you to cut off. And so we can just cut off along that border. All right, and so now I have a smaller piece of paper. Oops. I want to put it like this. And then I can line it all up, and I can tape it down. And then I'll have a little heart that it beats when I slide my finger across in the right spot. Boom, 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 which is really fun. This is sort of a fun, sort of kinematic thing. You do want to show on here where you need to put your finger to slide it across so that people know when they open it. But this is a really fun, super simple little pop-up LED card. You just glue this all in place or you could tape it in place, whatever you prefer. You could add a little card to write, you know, to mom or dad, whatever floats your boat. What I do love about this is the beating heart is a little bit more difficult, but we also have scaled versions of this. So you could have a heart that it just presses on or off, which is a little bit simpler in terms of circuits. Or 
If you have even a younger kid who wants to partake in this but can't quite do the circuit part, they can just make the pop-up card with the same template so they feel like they're doing all the fun stuff, they're learning about simple mechanisms, about how you make pop-ups, geometry, all that stuff, but they just don't have the circuit part. And you know, you could even do the circuit part for them as they do it and then your older kids can make the other circuits that they want. Again, these are free to download. We have all the supplies on the Amazon list for you so you can get the supplies really easily. And we hope that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all of our videos as they come out. Make sure to 